Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode, or today's video, on Pretzel's Garage. Um, this is a video, obviously, gonna be about my custom Monster Moto, or Mega Moto, or whatever. Well, technically, it's Monster Moto, or at least that's the Fender says. Um, or well, that's what the, all the label makes it. So this is a 2018, or what well, was manufactured in 2018. It's a Monster Moto and MM-B80. So it was their base model, their ADCC. Obviously it doesn't have an ADCC engine on it anymore. It has a Predator 212, but I'll get into that. So, obviously it had... Okay, that engine over there on it, the ADCC stock. Um, now it's this. So first off, I started by uh, fixing the problems with that. It would, throttle was a little iffy, fixed that. But first step was doing lighting. So as you can see, I have lights here, a uh, light bar there, which my brake cable kind of cuts off, but it's fine. And then, um, on the rear here, I have a tail light. And then this is my battery box. So inside here, obviously, is my battery and some of my wiring. Um, and my turret flasher units in here and all that. So I took a piece of metal from Home Depot, bent it up, made a box to fit around the battery. And so, this switch here is a 15 amp switch. It turns on. So now, I have a running tail light. And then, these two running, running lights. And then I have, on my handlebar here, I have a controller, so... It switches to my um, high beam. It's quite bright. Um, I guess I'll leave this at this angle here. And then there's a button. Turn signal in the front. And turn signal in the back. And obviously, same with that's off, turn signal, left turn signal in the front and the back, and off, and then that's a running light, kind of just have it there for, because in the state of Wisconsin all motorcycles need a running light on at all times, and then it has a brake light, so you can see it kind of gets brighter, it does, but obviously it's kind of bright in here as it is and so that's the running the lights and then so here's my wiring harness here my girlfriend made a nice little sleeve to cover up all my connections and then here's my pinning and then yes I know there's a wire nut there here's all my connectors and I have a horn wired up right here it's pinned it's just not I don't have a horn on it and then, so, this is a 15 amp switch, and then here's <coughs> underglow switch. So I have two blue underglow strips from O'Reilly. So there's one up underneath the seat here, and then I have one mounted to the bottom of the engine plate here. And then that, uh, that underglow, and it's on a separate switch. So, I can turn it off when I'm not, when I'm riding, or obviously independently. And then, obviously I painted it purple. As you can see, I painted it purple, this candy grape purple. I love it. There's a little iffy spots, like right there, but... So the theme was purple and black, so I left the seat black, fender black, 
the engine black, the battery box black, the whole frame's purple. So I disassembled, sandblasted it, painted it. Uh, I got new grips from a store called Cycle Gear. They have one out here, I'm pretty sure they're, they're nationwide, I'm not really sure. And then I have a cheap little bike computer from Amazon. And then it'll tell me the speed and like average speed and mileage, dis or well, distance. And here, I think. Oh, that's a stopwatch. Here, mode. Maybe it's mode. Mode, odometer, four miles, temperature outside, time, stuff like that. And then I can press the light off. That's just wireless sensor to here. And then I made a little sp sp fake spoke, artificial spoke, with some JB weld. And the thing is right here. I haven't put it on yet because I don't want to lose it. And so that's how I tell how fast I'm going. I have it calibrated for the circumference of the wheel, kind of like how you would do for like a circumference of your bike tire, but on a mini bike. And then so stock brake, stock brake. Stop break. I'm gonna replace the caliper because it's only like nine bucks on Go Power Sports. And here, on this other side, I have a Go Power Sports split sprocket adapter. Cause I didn't want that massive 70 to 72 thing tooth sprocket on there. Um, I have a Go Power Sports. Ah, uh, chain guard, and then I have a RLV muffler painted with heat paint, obviously like the high heat paint for like grills and, you know, fire pit things and stuff like that. The exhaust under here, under the heat wrap is also in heat paint. I have a exhaust wrap on it. Still need to break it in there still. And I use the steel zip ties. Um... This is pretty much stock. Um, obviously I removed the stock intake or exhaust and then replaced it. The intake and carburetor with a Makuni 22 millimeter flat slide carb. Obviously, my fuel line's kind of long. I gotta fix the whole thing, but and I need to get a little vent for the valve cover. But yeah, this is what I call the purple spade. It's my first big build that I've done. Um, I had to order the fenders because that didn't come with fenders. I picked this up for last May for $200 and I replaced tires on it uh, fenders did not come with it so and I didn't realize I was missing that bracket so I kind of just fab something but I got a fender bracket now here's the stock tire for the tires that came with it this was the back one as you can see it's really bald the front one was actually good but I just restart decided to replace them but yeah, so this is the purple spade. It is my pride and joy because I spent so much time on it. I basically spent all summer building it, not riding it, which sucked. But I love how it turned out. I hope you like it too. Um, like I said in my previous video, me and Logan are going to tune this carburetor. And get this thing running smooth. And I'll... One of my friends has GoPros. I might... have Borrow one and... Take y'all on a ride. With me on the... The Purple Spade. Well, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you... Next time. 
whenever that'll be. Actually, I do have a video filmed of an introduction into a golf cart build, but I gotta edit that. But that won't be next. After this, I don't know really. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, make sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram. It is now at pretzels underscore garage. Yeah, pretzels underscore garage. No apostrophe in the pretzels. So, no pretzel apostrophe, yes. It's just pretzel with an S on it. Underscore garage. Make sure to check me out there. You'll see build photos of this. The frame sandblasted and all that. So go check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And yeah. Thanks for watching.